Well, hello, it's Bud Kraus, and I'm doing a module on Gutenberg for my WP A to Z series. Now, if you've been using WordPress for a little while or a whole lot longer like me, you probably know that there's a new and big change coming to WordPress in 2018. We don't know exactly when, but it is coming, and we're likely to see it when version 5.0 is released. So what is all this talk about Gutenberg? What's all the excitement or consternation, if you will, about Gutenberg? Well, Gutenberg is a new page editing system. So you might be familiar with a WP editor, you know, how you create pages and posts and other types of content in WordPress. Well, that's all going to go away. It's going to be bye-bye. And instead, we're going to see something that's totally new. And it's based on a block editing system. So if you're familiar with Wix or Medium or Squarespace or other content management systems like that, Gutenberg is going to look a little more familiar to you. A lot of people are really concerned about Gutenberg, but I want you to know that for the foreseeable future, a lot of WordPress is going to stay the same. Now, I'm not going to say forever. That's not going to be true. But for the next couple of years, the only major change you're going to see is Gutenberg, but it is going to be a major change. So things like the customizer, that's not going to change. The idea of themes and plugins, that's not going to change. The fact that your website has sidebars and widgets and headers and footers, sort of the elements that you're familiar with WordPress, those aren't going to change. But how you create the content of your page that's going to change radically with Gutenberg. So I could have asked this question as, not why do we need Gutenberg, but do we really need Gutenberg? And the answer to the question is, it just depends on your point of view. Many people, especially those in the WordPress community responsible for WordPress's development, feel that in order for WordPress to take the next step, to advance and progress, and to meet users' needs of today and for the future, Gutenberg is a necessity. This is really controversial. There's been a lot of discussion over the last year on this very subject. Some people feel it's absolutely essential. Others are not so sure or saying we don't need it at all. But the bottom line is it's going to come. There's no turning back once it's going to be released. And it's something that while it's not quite ready yet, there's no reason why you shouldn't start learning it now because it is such a big change. Now, what about plugins and themes? I mentioned that a minute ago. How will those get along with Gutenberg? Well, it just depends on many factors, okay? In most cases, I'm going to tell you that with respect to themes, it should be just fine. But lots of exceptions, especially if you're using a page builder like Divi or if you're using Elementor or Beaver Builder or Fusion, there's a whole lot of these page builders, Gutenberg is going to react differently with those editors. And in fact, I'm going to do a whole video on this very subject. As far as plugins go, there is going to be a whole new universe of plugins that will be created specifically just to work with Gutenberg. Some of those have been introduced, and I'm going to do a video on that topic as well. But this is really early in the whole game. Suffice it to say for now that some plugins that you may be familiar with will not work with Gutenberg or are being re-architected so that they will work with Gutenberg or will actually no longer be necessary because of Gutenberg. So Gutenberg is definitely going to disrupt the plugin universe. No question about that. What about old websites? How are they going to work with Gutenberg? That's a very good question, and I'm going to go over that in another separate video. My hunch is, after looking at a lot of different websites, it just depends on your theme and the plugins that you're using currently. And for many sites, it'll be just fine. But for others, it's going to break. And my suggestion is that you test things out before you install WordPress or update WordPress 5.0. Now, how will it be rolled out? Now, that's a big question. A lot of people are wondering about that. And more importantly, when will it be rolled out? This is being recorded in 
early May 2018. And a lot of people felt it might have already come out. So there have been some hiccups along the way, shall we say. Uh, but my hunch is, in fact, most people would predict it will come out probably in the next three to six months. It's not going to come out until it's really ready for the public because it's going to be a huge change. So be ready for that. It is definitely going to be rolled out in version 5.0. And that's going to be the end of the WP Editor as you have seen it all these years. One question that's come along is, will there be a way to turn off Gutenberg? And the answer is probably, okay? But I can't tell you that for sure. That's another subject that's hotly debated. Will there be a simple way just to click a button and just turn it all off? Don't know for sure. Currently, there is a plugin that is out there that can do something like turning off Gutenberg. But the question will be, you may not want to do that because you might actually like what Gutenberg is going to do. So there we have it. Now, as I mentioned, I'm doing a whole new module on Gutenberg. And the topics I'm going to cover are, I'm going to give you a tour of Gutenberg. I'm going to build a page using Gutenberg. I'm going to show you some of the plugins that have been written specifically for Gutenberg. And I'm also going to show you some examples that I have of sites and how they perform before and after using Gutenberg. So I'm going to try to cover as much ground as I can in a very changing landscape. So things that I may say anywhere along the way may be altered just a little bit as time goes on. Because remember, Gutenberg, as of now, has not yet officially been released. But there's no reason for you not to learn Gutenberg, even though it has not been finalized.